Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day and today we are here with a video on how much money I can flip in one day with 10 mil. A lot of, lot of spin in there because that's a pretty long title, but that is essentially what I am doing, trying to see how much money I can make in a day worth of flipping with 10 mil. Now it's not going to be like a, a savage day where I sit here and just, you know, pretend like I'm a, a stock trader and just constantly stare at the GE. That's not really the plan. I want it to be applicable for kind of your average person five times a day or 10 times a day, somewhere in between there it, it literally flipping is one of the easiest things you can do so for me to say five to ten times a day it's really not that hard you hop on for like two three minutes you change some offers and, and you log off it's, it's really really enjoyable in my opinion because it's just kind of passive money um, I'll be hopping on about every hour or so and I mean it can kind of mimic a farm run or a birdhouse run for most uh, low to med level accounts and uh, I mean 10 mil is a decent chunk of change but honestly uh, if you don't know how to get to that point and you're like man I wish, I wish there was guides for that. I might know a guy that has an entire series on how to progress your account that's gotten up to like one point two bill already and then he, he probably uploads a lot of money making guides on the side too so take it that what you may but yeah that is the goal as far as what I'm going to be flipping uh, it's probably gonna be a lot of high volume items stuff like blood runes uh, chinchampas um, we also have like dragon bones I mean bones in general wyvern bones superior bones um, and sold heads stuff like that um, if you guys want more of an idea as far as what stuff is good um, if you've been doing this for a while if you've been flipping for a while you'll have a just an inherent uh, idea of what is good but if you haven't been doing this if you're kind of new there is a website called GE Tracker they're a partner of mine and basically it's just a website that you can go on look at all of the uh, margins of current items and uh, just get an idea of what's good what's not they have a nice little tool that shows you uh, what the highest flip is right now and what some of the best uh, high volume flips are so I'll kind of be uh, dealing in that realm of the high volume flips every now and then I might break out of there and do some uh, you know, like Barrow's gear or something like that, because, you know, there are other uh, higher priced items that you can kind of flip with 10 mil that are pretty decent. So, but yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to go ahead and fill up this little exchange worth of some items and we can get going. Now, I'm not going to like double my money in a day. So, if you guys are expecting that, obviously not what's going to happen, but this is going to show you, I mean, how much you can make just on, a so on the side in one day with a, a decent amount of cash. But honestly, it's like two to three bonds worth. You know, if you got 10 to 15 bucks IRL, Jang to let your real world trade through them which is kind of weird but literally first flip I tried and this is how you check flips by the way if you don't know you just buy an item and sell an item and the margin between them is where no one's buying or selling it at so uh, yeah I think I'm just going to take a, a close to 40 GP flip per one on these and probably throw in an offer for I don't know like 4k or so and we'll let that sit since I'm going to be doing this hourly, I don't really want to do stuff like blood runes or just runes as much. Like I did mention it earlier, it's nice if you're going to be around, but like a two to sometimes maybe even five to 10 GP flip, it looks good. And if you're going to be around again, it is decent because they will buy and sell extremely quick, but I don't want to take a small margin if it's going to be me hopping on hourly. So that's kind of the plan. I'm going to go for stuff that's kind of uh, intermediate. Take that into consideration if you plan on, you know, being around a decent bit more, you can definitely uh, try some other things so in the couple minutes I was sitting here all of my dragon arrows bought 4,000 of them so uh, nice little bit <laughs> stopping on in I checked a bunch of margins honestly none were doing really that crazy so I might have to uh, kind of dip into the realm of dragon arrows a little bit more and try to buy my hourly limit or four hour limit that is I did plan on kind of spreading it out a bit more but if you find an item that's working you know and it, relative to other items like 40 GP is way more than I found so far I mean I'm gonna keep on taking it and again since we're gonna wait like an hour in between if my um, arrows selling don't necessarily sell instantly like they aren't right now or they're not kind of flowing out uh, I'm not really that scared because I got an hour to kind of sit on them so then I have a seven GP margin on some sapphires right now as well so I think I'm gonna throw an offer for a good bit of those and it should be able to update uh, over our hour off throw that in and Jesus all of the dragon arrows have bought so be able to sell these off as well before I log out and yeah this is gonna be the first little sale that I'll be doing and from now on I'll kind of just check in whenever I have a little bit of profit to talk about or something interesting going on Checking back in for the first time, logged on after about an hour, and we did have all of the Dragon Arrows sell off, so that's about 
uh, 37 GP per one. So uh, good, good bit of profit there, a little over 400K. So I'm feeling happy about that. And we were able to get the Sapphires to fully buy. So uh, we will have that as a nice little flip right now. And I'll probably find another item that I'll flip going forward. Um, so that actually ends up being a 13 GP flip instead of a, a seven. So that's really, really nice. And yeah, looking if we sell these off at this price, should have already made about 500K. So I'll find another item and we'll see how it looks next time I check in. Second check buy, uh, all of my sapphires have sold off. I bought some diamonds too that I'm gonna throw in to sell and uh, switch up I think what I'm doing in terms of uh, gems. I'm not really as big of a fan of those. I'll probably go more along the outlines of some arrows if there is some margins to be found. Got some offers that have gone through. My diamonds have sold and uh, checking again, that was about a 30 GP profit per, so not too bad. And I found a decent little margin on some ammunition like I was talking about. The Ruby Dragon Bolts were going for med price. I'm not sure if they are. However, typically if stuff was going for med price, it'll get there again. Okay, nice, it is still there. So I can actually uh, make some money off of them, which is beautiful, 27 GP per, I have a little over 6,000. So that'll be a nice little addition to the profit. Might go back to Dragon Arrows now, um, because I am out of that range at this point. I should be, oh, no, I still can't buy them, I guess. Oh, geez, Dragon Arrow bought for 720? Ew, ew, ew. That's a 50 GP margin per. You bet I'm gonna try to take that. I don't know if by the time I buy all these that it will actually still be there. I'll probably hop back on in under an hour just so I can actually be able to sell these uh, for the price that I saw the margin at. Uh, we will see how that ends up working out for me, but 4.1 thousand buying and 6.5 thousand selling. Back again at the Grand Exchange, I uh, got a couple things going on. One thing that is not going on is that these Dragon Arrows did not end up selling for the good margin that I was hoping for. Kind of left them in, even though I knew they weren't selling for that price, uh, just in hopes that they would bounce back up a little bit, and they did enough for some of it to sell, but obviously, as you saw, not all of it went, so I'm going to have to drop it back down to whatever the current price is, so 677. I'm not exactly sure what I bought these for. Yeah, uh, I mean, <laughs> like a six. GP flip. I'm not that excited about it, but you're not always going to get big ones as long as you're making money. That's where it's at. So 1194 for these. We'll see what it's going for right now. And it's looking like a 5 GP flip for this. Now I could do something that I was mentioning earlier, which is just throw them in for med price, like one GP under. They'll probably buy. I'll check back again and like 20 30 minutes just for a second and if they're not selling then i'll actually drop them down to their regular price and that's how i will go with this flip just like that the deed has been done everything is sold so we can see where my cash deck is currently sitting 10.8 mil which is pretty good we're about halfway through still gonna have a, a lot of decent flips flowing on through and we'll see where that takes us as far as what I'm gonna find, I don't know. I would really like to try some chinchampas, but they haven't had any margins every time I've checked. So the black chins aren't too bad. In this video, I'm trying to emulate someone that's just hopping on here and there to look at their flips. If you're someone that's gonna be like standing around the GE, this would actually be pretty good because you could buy and sell a lot of these pretty quick. But considering I can only buy about 3,000, a little over that of them, um, I'm not I'm not getting the return on investment for my money that I would like. While that's even decent, I think I might have to stay away. That's actually one GP more per flip and like 500 GP less or so per. So I'll, I'll give that a go actually, that's not too bad. You just gotta look around, see if there's maybe a better flip out there. And luckily I was able to find one pretty uh, decently quick. And like I said, eclectics are uh, are good a lot, honestly. I feel like I flipped these a bunch back in the day. So good shout there, gonna go ahead and try to buy that. Usually I don't uh, over or undercut if I'm doing high volume items, cause you might get into like a, a cutting war with someone else, which is never any fun. Uh, but these, I really do feel like people just aren't uh, is actively buying and selling them because they don't really go that quick. So uh, I think I, I can undercut them by one GP, I know. You could say it's scummy, but at the end of the day, like, you know, you're somebody's getting all of the eclectics, could be me, could be that guy, maybe he undercuts me back, you know, that's the, that's the way of the world. And obviously if you guys keep undercutting each other back and forth, basically what that is, is just putting in an offer one GP above and below. Uh, I guess I didn't really, uh, specify but yeah that's it I, you can get into a war with them if you start to see a war is happening i would just say call it even and go at their price but i'm not gonna know so i'm going to take my take my risk 
ended up working out for us. Got all of the Eclectics to sell off 4.4k close to. Uh, as we can see, I you know talked about it earlier how much I was making per one. I did get undercut afterwards, so I was trying to see what the actual price was because I had to sell one and buy one since I didn't have any coins left. And uh, yeah, I ended up getting undercut by one, but that was after I bought them all. So no worries here. Got all my cash back and made eh, close to 150k on all that. So the flips have been a little iffy right now. Honestly, I missed out on one that could have been really good. Uh, uh, right here bracelets of ethereum i bought 219 and then they kind of weren't selling and they dropped on me because i bought one and it was already like 140 gp less so i bought a couple more and i was like oh, okay well i guess i'll just sell them for about 100 gp loss so only 25k not too bad but then later on i checked the prices like i don't know 20 minutes later something like that whenever i finally got those to sell and wanted to you know test out some more flips and they were right back to where they were i would have been back to making 100 150k per flip on those it's just weird because i don't think anyone's going to buy these in bulk at the high alk price because mostly people buy these to high alk so i'm just going to stay away even though it's tempting 500 gp margin check those out every now and then they have pretty decent margins along with ether um i actually saw a 2 gp or 3 gp margin on this earlier and uh just didn't get any to buy I'll check again right now see what it's doing but yeah, 2 GP margin, you can buy like, you know, 30,000. It should be pretty easy, honestly. I don't I don't quite understand what's going on there, but I did a Zora scale flip earlier. That's kind of one like the Revenant Ether where it is uh 30,000 and they buy and sell really really quick. I can't Oh, I thought I was I thought I hit my limit, but I guess not. 2 GP margin there as well. These are basically a guarantee. Ether apparently is not. But yeah, still looking for some items. Haven't had too much luck right now. Uh, the best thing I found is this bracelet. I'm not doing it. I'm not falling for it again, but I did lose a little bit of money. It happens every now and then. Uh, gotta Gotta lose money to learn some things and as long as you're not losing too much, you'll be fine. So for the home stretch of the night, I think I'm going to try out some of just a little bit bigger flips. I wanted to make this kind of more high volume items because I feel like everyone can do that. As far as high volume items go, essentially you should just be trying to flip items that you think, you know, people that are higher levels might uh, be using for skills and whatnot. That seems to work out the best for me. And I feel like that's just because, you know, typically whenever high levels are working on skills, they really don't care what they're paying. You know, 5, 10 GP per item here and there, they don't really uh, bat an eye to so you can kind of get in there um also med level gear i feel like is pretty good because med levels are all, always kind of buying and selling gear because they need their money uh to put into new gear or new skills or whatever so uh right now got some dehyde boots that i actually found over on ge tracker and the guthix ones are very very good they are like a 75k flip and then uh the ceridome and di boots i actually don't know what they sell for i bought a pair and then i went to sell it for 5 gp under med and they didn't sell so i'm just gonna buy them for that price and not see what they actually sell for you'd get more money if you sold them and then saw what they actually sold for but at the same time it would probably alert the person that is flipping them that i just checked the margin and so they might change their price so i'm not gonna risk it i'll just try to buy some this would be a little longer flip hey there we go uh but they're necessary items so i don't think it'll be too bad and just like that i have all of my offers uh completed there are some sapphires that i still need to sell that i was not planning on having because they just stopped buying earlier but that is okay i can see if i can make a little bit of money on those still appears so um but the Ceridome and Dehyde boots ended up doing pretty well. Uh, they didn't all sell for the price, so I just dropped them down to med and sold them at that price. And overall, made some good money because we still have 1.4 mil here, uh, 400k profit almost there. So uh, closing out 1.8 mil total. Probably get in another flip, and then I am going to go to bed. So I'll see what I do for the late night uh, bedtime flip. Probably something that takes a little slower to buy, but we'll see. So back with the final check-in of the video, did a lot of uh, checking of margins. Nothing really was uh, sticking out to me. Dragon Arrows were looking good, but they did not have the same margin that I was hoping for, and I just couldn't buy as many as I wanted. But ended up going with Air Orbs overnight. Decent flip for about 1k each. 15 GP margin, pretty, pretty nice. Uh, I was happy with it. And overall, that brings us out to a 1.86 mil profit, 1.87 close to. So almost made 20% back on my money in one day of just flipping. And as you saw with a lot of my clips, um, I would throw 
throw most of my money into like one or two items just because it was hard to find a lot of good flips. But if you have a lot more money and a little bit more time, there are definitely a ton to be found out there. And obviously the more money you have, the more you will make. So for an example, if you were able to keep up this percentage return, like, you know, increasing your cash deck by 18% a day after a week of the rates of which I am going at, I would be at a 33 mil cash deck. And then after a month, I would be at 180. Now that's a little bit more wishful with the 180 because you're probably not going to keep returning 20% a day once you start to get up there. But that can show you the power of just returns on returns on returns. And I mean, that's the fun part about the GE. Honestly, like this video didn't take too long for me to make in the sense that I would just hop on here and there and make a little bit of money. So I'll probably do this again in the near future with, uh, you know, varying levels of cash so we can compare. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. Anything you want to see from me, anything you want to let me know, feel free to in a comment down below. And if you want to see more videos like this as soon as they go live, make sure to subscribe. Also have a Twitter in the description down below. Go follow me, please. I need more friends. But yeah, with that said, hopefully you guys have a wonderful day and uh, peace.